Howard Schultz was born on July 19, 1953 in Brooklyn, New York, to a poor Jewish family. The poor boy found relief in sports and did excellently well in it. As a result, he was awarded an athletic scholarship to Northern Michigan University after graduating from Carnegie High School in 1971. Howard was the first person in his family to attend university. He graduated in 1975 with a bachelor's degree in communications. After Howard graduated from the university, he worked as a salesperson for Xerox Corporation. Due to his diligence, he was soon promoted to the post of the full sales representative. About four years later, his continuous strive for greater success caused him to leave Xerox Corporation to become the general manager for Hammerplast. While at Hammerplast, Howard noticed that a particular company, Starbucks Coffee Tea and Spice Company, was buying more coffee makers than any other company. The curious Howard then visited the Starbucks Coffee Tea in 1981 and was impressed by their dedication and knowledge of coffee. His keen eye for greater success made him recognize the company as a potential business opportunity. A year later, Howard left Hammerplast and became the director of marketing for Starbucks Coffee Tea and Spice Company. On an official trip to Milan, Italy, Howard noticed lots of coffee bars lined on almost every street. These bars served traditional espresso beverages and provided a meeting and relaxation place for customers. This inspired Howard. He saw this as another opportunity for greater success. He discussed the idea with the owners of Starbucks, Jerry Baldwin, Gordon Boker, and Zerv Siegel, who did not welcome the idea as they did not want to go into the restaurant business. Rather than miss out on what he believed to be the next big thing, the disappointed Howard left Starbucks Coffee Tea in 1985 to start his own coffee shop called Il Gilnali. There he offered the espresso type restaurant business. Two years later, his business had become so successful that he purchased the Starbucks Coffee Tea and Spice Company for $3.8 million and became the CEO and chairman of the company. He renamed the company as Starbucks, later called Starbucks Coffee Company. Howard, who was not yet comfortable with his success level, began an aggressive expansion of his company all over the country. Starbucks presently has more than 21,000 stores worldwide with a market capitalization of about $60 billion. Listen, life is like riding a bicycle. You have to keep on moving or you'll fall off. That's momentum. And it's about asking yourself what the next mountains are. It's about taking the first baby steps. For most people who were born in poverty like Howard Schultz, they feel life has nothing for them. But if you look around you, there are always little things you can do to improve your life situations. Like Howard Schultz, if you always look around for the next possibilities, you'll keep on growing and one day you'll look back and wonder how you were able to make it. Roy T. Burnett said life is about accepting the challenges along the way, choosing to keep moving forward and savoring the journey. First, you have to accept the challenges on your way and be willing to run with them. Don't wish that your life will be free of obstacles because it won't. Instead, be prepared to run with the heavy loads life throws at you. Germany Kent said, have the willpower to stay focused on your dreams and dare to expect more out of life. Though Howard Schultz was born by poor parents, because he was an aggressive dreamer who always looked for the next mountain to conquer, he became a success. Stay focused, keep fighting, keep looking for the next mountain to climb. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.